All right, boys and girls, welcome back to Ludix Aviation on a beautiful morning. We're here in Kissimmee, outside 670 Mike Alpha. There's the boy, Otto. You've seen him go from student pilot with three different CFIs to getting his own CFI certificate. Treating student... Well, I'm talking about CFI thing, can we? Well, I'm talking, just talking about videos. Like, for the, in, the, in, the, in our fictional world, he's doing his brief flight, which is uh, a good boy. Today, what happens when you're in IMC and your instruments start to fail. That is what we're doing today. We're doing some partial panel on uh, on an approach into Kissimmee. Looks like they're using runway 15 here, getting on the ILS and do some partial panel on the ILS. But you're gonna see uh, how he deals with instrument failures on an approach. It's not easy to do. It's really not easy to do, especially when you've not done it for a while. It's a beautiful day for it though. It's very, very calm winds. Not a day that you'd need your instrument uh, rating. Do we have snacks? Yeah, I got some protein bars. They're absolutely required. Good lad. Welcome to Ludix Aviation, the home of fun-filled aviation videos. I invite you to like, subscribe, and enjoy the flight as I welcome you to the sky. Ludix Aviation videos are edited to be as entertaining as possible. This may remove context. Many procedures, situations, explanations, and flight phases have been edited out. Do not use for instructional purposes. This video is for entertainment purposes only. We are going to be doing the ILS when we 15 into Kissimmee. The plate is in date. Uh, localized DME is going to be 10975. We'll get that in when we get started. That approach course can be 153. We'll at least set that for now. Runway uh, landing is 6,001 uh, 6, feet, touchdown zone elevation 82, airport elevation 82 feet as well. Misapproach procedure is going to be a climb to 600, then a climbing right turn to 2200 on a heading of 240, uh, <clears throat> intercept the Orlando Voltac radial 200. going to hit Tempe, which is 28 DME from Orlando, and we're going to hold. So that's going to be a parallel entry. So we'll start off with a right turn, then intercept it back and back and go. It is going to be 128.77, we'll get that in a second. Approach is going to be 1194. Kiss me tower, 2445. Ground we'll get here in a little bit, 121.7. We're in a set WIPO, 2000 feet, at or above 2000 feet, and then we'll descend once we go past it to Wadzi, and that'll be at or above 1200 feet, which will be our glide slope intercept, final approach, fix, and then we'll descend down to. Uh, ILS is 282 per the chart, but there's a nodum that says it is 332. 332. So we got 50 extra feet. Cries three quarter of a mile visibility. Today we have 10. Hey, right. approach brief. Yeah, I think we will do two approaches. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I think it'd be good. The first one will be a warm up, the second one will be partial. And what I'm planning on doing is uh, when we go missed from the first, is to throw you straight under the, under the partial. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, HRC campus is set, radio's uh, set, so it's 12445, uh, and bots put there, turn that over, and we'll get 1194 in here for the approach. Uh, one thing which I do note that I forgot, which I'm going to go quickly test, is if I turn to the left, this goes left, ball swings outside, this doesn't tilt more than 5 degrees, and the compass and this both swing down freely. I love it. What initial altitude are you going to? We'll go to about 1500 until we get on with them and we'll climb to 2000. Kissimmee Tower, Skyhawk 670, Mike Alpha, Honshot 15 Delta, ready for departure. Kissimmee 670, Mike Alpha, runway 15, right turn to the west, cliff takeoff. 15, right turn to the west, cliff takeoff, 670, Mike Alpha. Landing lights on, strobe lights on, beacons on, cleared on final. Runway is clear. Oh, there's a weed on it aboard. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, 1 5 on the runway, a little bit of wind at the right. Add that full power slowly, but surely. Alright, airspeed's coming alive. It's 55, we'll wait for 60. There's 60. Right downwind, runway 1 5, 2 mic kilo. Welcome to the sky, mate. Thanks. Reserve mic alpha, stay on the south side of the water towers until you get past them. All right, we'll stay on the south side of the water tower until we get past the zero, Mike Alpha. Oh, I see what he's saying. Okay, we'll make that uh, turn now. All right, how are you feeling about the partial panel stuff? I, uh, actually, to be honest with you, this is the first time in a while that I felt a little uncomfortable. Oh, a little bit Bambi on ice. Yeah, a little bit. Me right now, it feels a little, uh, yeah, like Bambi on ice, like you said. Yeah. You know, just, yeah. Eh, is what I would describe it as. Oh, eh. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. That's the technical CFI term. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Cook <laughs> 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 Alright, tell you what. Yeah, I was gonna say, let's go ahead and go under the hood, shall we? Mike rolls. Mike rolls. Alright, hold on. 
Otto is clearly struggling with his foggles to find a comfortable fit under his headset. That's because he's an idiot and doesn't do what I do. I use my Flying Eyes view limiting device on my Golden Eagle Sport frames. The view limiting device clings to the lenses, causes no damage, of course, but best of all, can be reused by clinging it back onto the glossy sheet for other flights. The beauty of having this is that the Flying Eyes slip easily under my headset and cause me no head pain and no a &R loss because the sunglasses don't break the headset seal. I can't speak highly enough of Flying Eyes and the problems they solve for pilots, and you can get 10% off all Flying Eyes products by using the best discount code, LUDIX, when you're checking out. Otto didn't, because he's an idiot. <laughs> so... Yo controls, my controls, yo controls. Point approach, good morning, Skyhawk, 670 Mike Alpha request. No, 670 Mike Alpha on it. Yeah, 670 Mike Alpha, we're about uh, 8 miles to the southwest of Kissimmee Airport, 1,500. If possible, we'd like to get two hours approaches into Kissimmee, uh, followed by a full stop. Yeah, 670 Mike Alpha, 4 maintain via far, advise when you get information, November. We have November, 0351 in the box, 0 Mike Alpha. Beautiful, turn to the north. Yeah, 0 Mike Alpha, ready contact position, that's reported, plotting 360, back to the ILS 15. 360, back to the ILS 15, 0 Mike Alpha. Yeah, 0 Mike Alpha, after completion of the approach, plotting 270, maintain 2000, return to this frequency. 270, 2000, this frequency, one mile, 0 Mike Alpha. Expertly executed on the radio, my friend. I don't know if that was a test. No, it's not a test. Yeah, the, the, it keeps processing really badly. Yeah, this is basically a partial mile of route, yeah. which I'm fine with because I get to keep looking out the window. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, 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 oh. No. We don't no. do that. Ah, no. No, we're humble. <laughs> we, we don't cheat ever. Definitely not on check rides either. All right, uh, I'm going to do it, although we're pretty much set up, but I'm going to do a pre landing check this very quickly. So my seatbelt's on, your seatbelt's on, mixture is full, rich, power is set, put the landing light on. We've uh, briefed the approach. We have. It was a nice, thorough briefing. Now, just explain to the people why you did that on the ground rather than up here. Oh, uh, task manager. Well, That's management, exactly. One of the biggest things about insurance, uh, insurance flying is fast management. Yep. They get saturated, get everything done early. The fact that we're doing, you know, a couple of approaches in quick succession, uh, pretty quickly after we've taken off, we're coming back on an approach. So I think it's a uh, good idea to brief it on the ground if you're doing something like that. Yeah, I like it. To give you a bit of context as to where we are and what we're doing, we've been given a 360 heading and are going to be vectored, which means given headings, to fly towards our approach course, like this. November 0 Mike Alpha, flying 060. 060 on the heading, 0 Mike Alpha. Yeah, so that tells you he's, he's vectoring you uh, inside Whirlpool. These vectors put us inside the Disney temporary flight restriction, which is actually a permanent one, which gives us, or me, great views of Epcot. Right over Epcot. Oh, yep. oh cool. Just, just down here. I don't think I've ever been this low of at Epcot. The ball looks dirty. Dirty ball, but I'm looking for a clean approach. The next vector we're expecting is the final vector to the final approach course, which will have us intercepting it before the final approach fix of Wadsey. Yeah, 670 Mike Goff, uh, you're four miles from uh, Wadsey. Turn right heading 130, maintain 2000, correction 1600 till established, cleared off on five. Otto now turns us to the final vector heading of 130 and will intercept the final approach course on this heading. Notice the controller said we're cleared for the ILS 15. That means when we're established on the final approach course, we're cleared to follow the altitudes on the approach plate. We can descend to 1200 feet before Wadsey, which is the final approach fix. Final approach fix on an ILS is glide slope intercept, and the altitude at which we'll intercept that glide slope is at 1200 feet. Then we'll follow the localizer and glide slope all the way down to the minimum before looking up and seeing the runway. Sounds simple, or maybe not, but when flying on instruments, nothing is as straightforward as it seems, as you're about to see. Number zero, Mike Alpha, connect tower on 124.45. 12445, zero, Mike Alpha. This needle is the localizer, lateral guidance, and this needle is the glide slope, vertical guidance. Otto is still intercepting the localizer, which is showing the course slightly to our left, and we're below the glide slope, which is showing above us. Tower 670 Mike Alpha, inbound ILS uh, 15. Zero Mike Alpha, Roger. Now Otto's maintaining above 1200 feet per the approach plate. While holding the localizer for lateral guidance, he's waiting for the vertical guidance needle to show that he's intercepted the glide slope, at which point he'll begin his descent towards the runway. For the descent, we need to configure, which means reducing power and adding flaps, which I actually teach to do a little bit earlier than this. As you see, we're configuring as we intercept the glide slope. The configuration change is a little bit late, but everything is stable as we begin our descent to the runway. Now all Otto has to do is 
to maintain the needles in the center as best he can. Hey, Whiskey, Whiskey, make short approach, number two, far and short, final assessment traffic. Two, uh, short approach, approved, uh, eight, three, eight, three, six, one, five. Is there a mic off? I want to put the the traffic ahead of you on a close end left base about two and a half miles ahead. I got the traffic in sight. There, Michael. This is an instructional flight, but this is a good lesson for all the safety pilots out there. Your controls if you need us. Yeah. Otto and I have always had a great dynamic when it comes to the other person stepping in when needed, and the fact that Otto is blind to the outside with air traffic control clearing a short approach aircraft close ahead of us, it's important to be vigilant and help where needed. Nothing is more important than safety, and being a safety pilot or instructor is not a free ride. Number six, Charlie Mike, number three, Aye, runway five. one five, quit land, your chest is about a mile and a half due east of you. What do you want to do? Do you want to do touch and go? No, 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 I'll just go up there. Mike Alpha, number two, clear for the option, execute climate out, departure in. Clear option one five, zero Mike Alpha. So while all that's been going on, Otto's still been flying the ILS, and even though he's off course to the left a little, he's using very small corrections to the right to bring that needle back to him. Flight slip's good, localizer's good. All right. Alright, departure end. Alright, Out approach, uh, Sky 670, Mike Alpha, uh, 270, climbing 1400, 2000. Near 670, Mike Alpha, under departure, right of kind of got correction, IDENT, climb maintain 3000, and uh, how will this approach terminate? IDENT up to 3000, it'll be a full stop, 670, Mike Alpha. There's your Mike Alpha, Roger, maintain VFR 2500 actually. 2500 VFR, so wait, uh, 670, Mike Alpha. Your controls. Tango, stop, Mike controls. controls. <laughs> it was very much of a monkey do. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, monkey's. Ah, <laughs> so. I've got a rock outside. <laughs> Checking my head in. <laughs> so now everything's opposite for Otto, uh, as far as his uh, heading is concerned. <laughs> he's using the compass. Yeah, left, <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, the acronym that I've always used, who knows? Undershoot north, overshoot south. If you're turning north, undershoot your heading, and then overshoot south. But what Otto's got at the moment, which you probably can't see, is uh, bang on 330, which is uh, what he was told to do. Oh. November 670, Mike Alpha, maintain 100 knots, spotting 050. 100 knots, 050 on the heading, 0 Mike Alpha. Hey, it's standing right to him. So I am using a little of a cheat, and I'm not using it as a primary. This is obviously my primary. Yeah, but to keep my head from swiveling up and down and up and down, I'm using obviously this and this to sort of gauge where my turn is. Well, sorry, this rather, to gauge where my turn's at. But to see where I'm kind of at on a heading, I'm using my track. Uh, you, and you're not wrong to do so. So using all your available stuff, your vacuum is. So, so use everything else at your disposal. Just let me get another cover for this. <laughs> As I go through my truck. <laughs> Did you put your thing back? Alpha, reduce speed to 90 knots. 90 knots, zero Mike Alpha. Alright, yeah, because this, when it glares, yeah. I can't see sh**. Never zero Mike Alpha, turn on your 120, join the localizer. 120, join the localizer, zero Mike Alpha. Yeah, zero right. Mike Alpha, be able to send your discretion. You're down at 90 now. You're establishing. He's told you to descend, so you're descending. What are you descending to? 1200, cool. You're absolutely right. We're established. Go down to 1200 if you like. We're inside Whirlpool, so you're doing everything uh, really well. Uh, speed restrictions in a 172, that, that is a first for me. Yeah, that's what it's actually, I mean, it's not difficult, but it's another thing to add back to your flight. Exactly. Yeah, and it's just another thing to focus on to divide that attention between. Remember zero Mike Alpha Connect Tower, one two four point four five. Twenty four forty five, thanks for the help. Have a good day, zero Mike Alpha. I'm bringing it down. Zero Tower, six seven zero Mike Alpha, M by an ILS one five, full stop. Zero Mike Alpha, can send me tell report at Wadzi. Report Wadzi, zero Mike Alpha. Two point seven. Hey, where's my track gone? <laughs> Trying to f sabotage me. <laughs> As a double R. <laughs>
Uh, look at this, 90 knots. Partial panel is not a fun way to fly, but Otto's doing a great job. All he's waiting for now is to intercept the glide slope before following it down to his minimums. It's okay. It's not... This isn't perfect. And I'll tell you, mate, partial panel... It's not supposed to be. <laughs> Genuinely. Oh, that's good. Let's head to Magic Kingdom. <laughs> You've lost your vacuum system. You know, you do what you can. But what you are doing is arguably better <laughs> than when you had everything <laughs> at your disposal. <laughs> I know. That's uh, funny, that. You know. So it goes, isn't it? Zero Mike Alpha, runway 15, clear to land. 15, clear to land, Zero Mike Alpha. I guess we don't need to report Wadsy then. Nope. Skyflight 436. Hey, because that's where we are. In eight seconds, we're at Wadsy. Alright, very well done. We'll start that descent. So now that we're following the glide slope, Otto's attention is divided into monitoring his position on the ILS and confirming his headings with the compass. I'll start to worry about my heading as well. This is where good instrument scanning skills really come into play. Absolutely. Stabilise, stabilise, stabilise. Well, stabilised, it is coming back in, so what you're doing is working. You notice how much hotter it's become. Oh, absolutely. Has that helped you? <laughs> it definitely, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Makes me know where I am. Yeah, so does the instrument. <laughs> 500 for 330. 7 for 9. What? 420 for 330. Beautiful. Very, very nice. Alright, and we're gonna go visual. Alright, go. Cool. Thanks. There's a runway. Oh, you got your vacuum system back. <laughs> oh, He said clear to land, didn't he? Did. Alright. I wanna do a touch and go. I'm not gonna. Alright, well, we're gonna under the Bravo shelf and contact departure at 119.4. Uh, Skyfly 436. Down the runway. <laughs> oh, he's back. 